its magnetic field, promise to unravel some of these mysteries. Imagine a spacecraft orbiting Neptune, sending back high-resolution images of its storms, mapping its magnetic field, and perhaps even sampling its atmosphere. Such a mission would revolutionize our understanding of this distant giant, providing new insights into its formation, evolution, and the complex processes that shape its environment. It would also inspire a new generation of scientists and explorers eager to unlock the secrets of our solar system and beyond. Keep looking up. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember Neptune, that distant blue giant. A world of storms, shadows and endless wonder. Remember that even in the farthest reaches of our solar system, there are still mysteries to be solved, wonders to be discovered and stories to be told. Keep exploring, keep asking questions and keep looking up. For in the vastness of the cosmos, there is always something new to learn, something amazing to discover. Neptune, with its beauty, its mystery and its extremes, reminds us that the universe is full of surprises and that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end. What are your thoughts on Neptune? Share your comments below and let's continue the conversation about this fascinating and enigmatic world. Neptune is a blue world, a giant ball of gas far away. Despite the distance, we've sent probes and pointed telescopes at it, learning amazing things. Neptune has the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching over 1,200 miles per hour. Its atmosphere is filled with massive storms. One of the most interesting aspects is its deep, vibrant blue color due to methane in its atmosphere. Methane absorbs red light and reflects blue light, giving Neptune its distinctive hue. We've only scratched the surface of what there is to learn about Neptune. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding this mysterious world. Neptune remains a place of extremes and beauty. Our quest to understand it continues. Imagine a place where it rains diamonds. That place might be Neptune. Deep within Neptune's atmosphere, intense pressure and temperature could form diamonds. These diamonds would then fall like rain towards the planet's core. While we haven't seen this diamond rain, it's a fascinating hypothesis. The idea of diamond rain adds to Neptune's intrigue. It reminds us of the countless wonders still waiting to be discovered in the universe. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun, about four times the size of Earth. It's very cold with an average temperature of minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. As a gas giant, Neptune doesn't have a solid surface and is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Methane in its atmosphere gives Neptune its blue color. Neptune has 14 known moons, with Triton being the largest. Triton orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation, possibly a captured dwarf planet. Neptune remains a fascinating and mysterious planet. We're still learning a lot about it. It reminds us of the vastness and wonder of our universe. Our exploration of Neptune continues to reveal its secrets. In 1990, Voyager 1 turned its cameras back towards Earth, capturing the iconic pale blue dot image. Carl Sagan called it a poignant reminder of our place in the cosmos. This tiny speck of blue encapsulates all of human history and our shared experiences. Sagan's words emphasized our planet's fragility and the importance of unity. The image underscores the need to protect our only home. It serves as a powerful message of perspective and responsibility. As we venture further into the cosmos, we must remember the significance of our pale blue dot. This image continues to inspire awe and wonder about our place in the universe. Carl Sagan envisioned capturing Earth's image from the outer reaches of our solar system. He believed such an image would remind us of our planet's fragility and our shared responsibility. Sagan argued that our differences fade into insignificance when viewed from such a distance. His vision extended beyond capturing the image. 
He wanted to inspire awe and wonder about the universe. Sagan's eloquent words transformed the pale blue dot image into a powerful philosophical statement. His vision continues to resonate, reminding us of our interconnectedness. Sagan imagined capturing Earth's image from even greater distances, like from Neptune. A future spacecraft at Neptune could offer a unique view of our home. This image, while smaller and fainter than the pale blue dot, would carry the same profound message. It would be a testament to humanity's spirit of exploration. Such an image would remind us of our shared origins and the importance of preserving our planet. Sagan's vision continues to inspire our quest to understand the universe. Neptune is a gas giant, but unlike Jupiter, it's a dim and distant world. It's invisible to the naked eye and requires a telescope to see. Neptune is about 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth. This immense distance makes Neptune challenging to study. Even with powerful telescopes, it appears as a small blurry disk. Space probes have provided closer looks, revealing Neptune's wonders. Despite its distance, Neptune remains a world of swirling storms and supersonic winds. Neptune is classified as an ice giant, different from rocky terrestrial planets. Unlike gas giants, ice giants have a higher proportion of heavier elements like water, methane and ammonia. These elements exist in various states under Neptune's immense pressure and temperature. Methane in its upper atmosphere gives Neptune its blue color. The deeper you go, the denser and hotter it becomes. Extreme conditions make Neptune a fascinating laboratory for studying matter. Neptune's unique composition continues to intrigue scientists. Unlike closer planets, Neptune remained hidden until the 19th century. Its faintness and slow movement made it difficult to spot with the naked eye. Precise measurements of other planets revealed something strange. Uranus's orbit was off, suggesting another unseen object. Mathematicians calculated the location of this hypothetical planet. In 1846, Johann Gala confirmed Neptune's existence, changing our understanding of the solar system. This discovery expanded our cosmic horizons, revealing a new world. Studying Neptune is like examining a dime at the bottom of a swimming pool from the Empire State Building. Our most powerful telescopes provide limited detail about Neptune. We can see its blue color, storms and rings, but we yearn for a clearer picture. Despite challenges, scientists have devised methods to study Neptune from afar. Analyzing the light from Neptune unlocks some of its secrets. Our quest to understand Neptune continues. Light takes over four hours to travel from Neptune to Earth. This delay has profound implications for studying distant worlds. The light we receive from Neptune is incredibly faint. We need sensitive instruments to detect and analyze this faint light. Despite limitations, light is our most powerful tool for studying distant worlds. It carries a wealth of information about Neptune. There's no substitute for getting up close and personal. Only one spacecraft, Voyager 2, has flown past Neptune in 1989. Voyager 2 provided our first close-up glimpses of Neptune. A dedicated mission to Neptune would revolutionize our understanding. Such a mission requires time, resources, and luck. Our exploration of Neptune continues. Neptune is a hostile place with extreme weather conditions. Its atmosphere is a maelstrom of swirling storms and supersonic winds. Temperatures plummet to hundreds of degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The pressure is immense, making survival impossible. Studying Neptune requires instruments designed to withstand these conditions. Neptune's harsh environment challenges our exploration efforts. Neptune is a world of storms with hurricanes that could swallow Earth. These storms are driven by the planet's intense internal heat and the Coriolis effect. 
They evolve and change over time, making Neptune's atmosphere dynamic. Winds on Neptune can reach over 1,200 miles per hour. Scientists are still trying to understand the mechanisms driving these storms. Studying Neptune's storms provides insights into planetary atmospheres. Neptune's atmosphere remains a fascinating spectacle. In 1989, Voyager 2 captured images of the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm on Neptune. This storm was large enough to contain Earth. The Great Dark Spot changed shape and size over time. Unlike Jupiter's Great Red Spot, the Great Dark Spot was short-lived. By 1994, it had vanished, replaced by a new dark spot. The disappearance highlights Neptune's dynamic atmosphere. Scientists continue to study storm formation and longevity on gas giants. Neptune shines with a brilliant blue light, a color so vivid and intense that it captivates the eye. This striking blue hue is not just a matter of aesthetics. It holds clues to the composition of Neptune's atmosphere and the processes occurring within it. The blue color comes from methane, a gas present in trace amounts in Neptune's atmosphere. Methane absorbs red light from the sun, reflecting blue light back into space. This selective absorption and reflection of light give Neptune its distinctive blue color. However, Neptune's blue is not uniform. It varies in shade and intensity across the planet, hinting at the presence of other atmospheric components and the complex dynamics of its atmosphere. Scientists analyze these subtle variations in color to understand the distribution of gases, the formation of clouds, and the patterns of atmospheric circulation. Neptune's deep blue, a signature of its methane-rich atmosphere, serves as a reminder that even a planet's color can reveal secrets about its composition and the processes shaping its environment. While Neptune's storms are captivating, its largest moon, Triton, adds intrigue. Triton orbits Neptune in the opposite direction. This suggests Triton was captured by Neptune's gravity. Millions of years from now, Triton may be torn apart, forming a ring system around Neptune. Triton's retrograde dance reveals the solar system's chaotic history. Hold on to your hats, folks, because Neptune is home to the fastest winds in our solar system. These winds, clocked at speeds exceeding 1,200 miles per hour, would make a Category 5 hurricane look like a gentle breeze. Imagine trying to fly a kite in those conditions. These supersonic winds are driven by Neptune's intense internal heat and rapid rotation. Heat from deep within Neptune's core rises to the surface, creating powerful convection currents. These currents, coupled with the Coriolis effect, whip up the atmosphere into a frenzy. These winds shape Neptune's dynamic atmosphere, driving its storms and influencing heat and gases. Understanding these winds is key to unraveling Neptune's atmospheric mysteries. When we think of rings, Saturn immediately springs to mind, its majestic ring system a celestial icon. But did you know that Neptune has rings too? They're not as prominent or as easily visible as Saturn's, but they're there, subtle whispers of dust and ice encircling this distant blue giant. Neptune's rings are thought to be composed of small particles of dust and ice, likely shepherded into distinct arcs by the gravitational influence of small moons orbiting within or near the rings. Unlike Saturn's rings, which are broad and continuous, Neptune's rings are clumpy and uneven, with regions of higher density interspersed with gaps. The discovery of Neptune's rings was a triumph of both observation and deduction. In the 1980s, astronomers observing Neptune as it passed in front of distant stars noticed that the starlight blinked on and off in a pattern that suggested the presence of faint rings. Voyager 2's flyby in 1989 confirmed the existence of these rings, capturing images that revealed their clumpy nature. Neptune's rings, while subtle, provide valuable clues about the planet's history and the processes that have shaped its environment. They may be remnants of a shattered moon, or perhaps the result of ongoing collisions between smaller objects trapped in Neptune's gravitational grasp. 
A laboratory of extremes. Neptune, with its extreme conditions, is a natural physics experiment. Deep within, pressures and temperatures transform substances like methane. Methane may break down, forming diamonds that rain towards the core. Neptune's magnetic field generates auroras and influences its magnetosphere. Studying these interactions offers insights into planetary behavior. Neptune pushes the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. A distant world yet so close. Neptune, that distant blue giant, may seem like a world apart, a distant realm of storms and shadows. But in studying Neptune, we learn not only about this distant world, but also about our own planet and the vast universe we inhabit. Neptune's extremes, its supersonic winds, its swirling storms, and its potential for diamond rain challenge our understanding of physics and chemistry, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. By studying Neptune's atmosphere, we gain insights into the complex interactions between a planet's internal heat, its rotation, and its composition. These insights can be applied to our understanding of Earth's climate, helping us to model and predict changes in our own atmosphere. Neptune's unique moon, Triton, with its retrograde orbit and evidence of geological activity, provides a glimpse into the chaotic history of our solar system and the powerful gravitational forces that can shape planetary systems. By studying Triton, we can learn more about the formation and evolution of moons around giant planets, including the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Mysteries abound. While we have learned much about Neptune since its discovery in 1846, many mysteries remain. What is the precise composition of its atmosphere? How deep do its storms extend? What secrets lie hidden beneath its cloudy veil? Future missions to Neptune, equipped with advanced instruments capable of peering deeper into its atmosphere and probing its magnetic field, promise to unravel some of these mysteries. Imagine a spacecraft orbiting Neptune, sending back high-resolution images of its storms, mapping its magnetic field, and perhaps even sampling its atmosphere. Such a mission would revolutionize our understanding of this distant giant, providing new insights into its formation, evolution, and the complex processes that shape its environment. It would also inspire a new generation of scientists and explorers eager to unlock the secrets of our solar system and beyond. Keep looking up. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember Neptune, that distant blue giant. A world of storms, shadows, and endless wonder. Remember that even in the farthest reaches of our solar system, there are still mysteries to be solved, wonders to be discovered, and stories to be told. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep looking up. For in the vastness of the cosmos, there is always something new to learn, something amazing to discover. Neptune, with its beauty, its mystery and its extremes, reminds us that the universe is full of surprises and that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end. What are your thoughts on Neptune? Share your comments below and let's continue the conversation about this.